Hey everyone, I'm Simone from Barnaby Fox. I wanted to jump on here really quickly and share with you the materials that I used to make my block print accent wall from my last post. Um, so I'm here in my home studio. Uh, you can see actually some of my practice presses on the wall behind me. I need to paint over that. But um, when I kind of jumped into doing this project, I pulled out some latex paints, acrylics, a couple of inks that I had on hand. Um, and so that is me trying to figure out what works best for the wall. And this is kind of where I netted out. So hopefully I'm saving you a little bit of time if you want to tackle this project yourself. Um, the citrus design takes five basic shapes. So I've got those carved here out of Speedball Speedy Carve, which is my go-to product. I use it all the time. Um, so we've got our two kind of background shapes. And then once those dry, we go over those with our outline stamps. And there are three of these. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got our acrylic block. I pressed about half my wall before I pulled this thing out, um, and it was so frustrating. So um, I certainly recommend a block. I got um, a lot of ink in the negative space of the stamp, which is why this guy kind of ended up as a donut. I couldn't get kind of a good, even clean press, and so definitely use the acrylic block at least for the outline stamps. We've also got paint brushes. So black printing by nature doesn't always give you the cleanest press, um, especially I learned on a wall. So I did have to go back and touch up some of the edges a little bit with the paintbrush at the end. Um, so it's good to have that on hand. We've got some palette knives to spread our ink, our ink plate and brayer, and then our inks themselves. So funny enough, what worked best for me um, was actually something I had on hand, Speedball Screen Printing Ink. Um, it's best for fabric, but if you read the label, it also works really great on paper and cardboard. Um, and I learned walls. Um, so yeah, I mixed all my colors that I needed ahead of time. They're stored here in little plastic mason jars. Um, and for the citrus print, it's kind of this um, mustard yellow, this little gray lilac color, and then a peach. So these are the materials that worked for me. I'm gonna actually go over to the wall and I'll do a press or two to show you them in action. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of these guys. Um, I've got my ink rolled out here, the peach color. What I wanna do is just kind of roll the ink onto the stamp. I use probably more than I typically do for paper. So you wanna get a good even coating, um, but it really depends on how you want the design to come out. I'll tell you, um, this guy does not have any touch-ups, this guy does. So it just depends on how much texture you want to be able to see in your end design. Um, so I think I'm good here. We're gonna kind of just eyeball the placement a little bit and then we'll press it onto the wall. Another reason that the screen printing ink is so great is that it's a little bit sticky. So it holds your shape onto the wall, which makes it a little bit easier to press. So I'm just gonna go around, um, press it in with my fingers, kind of squish it on a little bit, maybe rotate it just slightly. I don't want to um, impact the clean circle shape. And then we will peel it off. So once that guy dries, I actually don't need to touch that one up. So that was a good amount of ink. Um, once that one dries, we will go back over it with the outline stamp. You'll notice I didn't put um, the background circle on the acrylic block. I actually think it helps me to be able to use my fingers to press it into the wall a little bit. Um, so I've just been using it on the outline, which we'll do next. Okay, now we're going to do our black outline. Um, so I've got my stamp mounted on the acrylic block. We've got our black ink rolled out. I'm gonna do this one. I'm moving up because I ended up kind of blocking this one when I pressed it. Um, so I wanna make sure you guys can see. So we'll roll the ink onto the stamp, get it evenly coated. Okay, and then we will press it on the wall. So the design has them kind of rotated. They're offset a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to eyeball it. And then we will press it onto the wall. Be careful not to let it slide. And peel. That one wasn't 
too bad. I've got a little bit of touching up to do right here, but otherwise I just repeated that process to cover the entire wall. Okay, so here is the end result. The whole project only took me a couple of hours. I spread the work over a few days. I tried to do a time lapse video for you guys, but it's just not being my friend right now. So follow me on Instagram at Barnaby Fox. I'm going to keep working on it and hopefully have that to share with you all soon. Otherwise, reach out if you have any questions. If you want to purchase this stamp set to do your own citrus block print accent wall, you can reach out to me on my Etsy page. Otherwise, I'm happy to collaborate with you on a new design or you can do it yourself. So all the materials in the process are on my website. The link is in my bio on Instagram. If you do a block print accent wall, share with me because I would love to see it. Um, and a big thank you to Speedball Art for letting me share my Create and Place project with you all today.